This video describes a new procedure added to Stack Graphics 19 for fitting mixtures of bivariate normal distributions. The data to be modeled consists of two quantitative variables, y1 and y2. The model to be fit to this data is a mixture of two or more bivariate Gaussian distributions. As an example, I've loaded into the Stack Graphics data sheet data describing 272 consecutive eruptions of the Old Faithful Geyser in Yellowstone National Park. The first column is the duration of each eruption. The second column, the waiting time until the next eruption. To get a quick look at this data, I'll go to the top menu, select Statlets, Density Estimators, Bivariate Density. Duration will be my first variable, waiting time will be the second. And when I press OK, it will show me a histogram, a bivariate histogram of the data. What you can see is that there are two groups of eruptions. There's one group with a mean of about two minutes and another group with a mean of about five minutes. For the shorter eruptions, the waiting time tends to be short until the next eruption. On the other hand, if the one eruption is long, it tends to be a long time until the next. You can also get a good view of the density function by selecting non-parametric density function. And if I bring the width of the smoother down, to around, oh, let's say 15% or so, you can see that there are two fairly well-defined peaks in this particular density function. I'm now going to fit a mathematical model to this data. The model will be a density function consisting of a mixture of two bivariate Gaussian distributions. The density function of the two variables, y1 and y2, will be a combination of two bivariate normal distributions. There are a total of 11 parameters that need to be estimated. First, I need to determine the value of alpha. Alpha is a value between 0 and 1 and describes how many observations in that density function are associated with the first normal distribution as opposed to the second. There are then a total of four means, four standard deviations, and two correlation coefficients that also need to be estimated. Back in Stack Graphics 19, to estimate a mixture of bivariate normal distributions, I'm going to go to the top menu to describe distribution fitting bivariate mixture distributions. The first variable is duration, the second variable waiting time. On the analysis options dialog box, I need to tell the program how many components there are in this mixture distribution. I'm only going to fit two components. It's possible there could be more. There are a couple other options I can set, but normally I'll just go ahead and press OK. The list of tables and graphs include an analysis summary, estimated parameters, a comparison of models. That would be comparing models with different numbers of components, and over here, a plot of the fitted distributions. If I press OK, the program will go ahead and do the fit, and you can see in the model there are two well-defined peaks, two bivariate normal distributions. Back in the table of estimated parameters, you can see the 11 parameters that needed to be estimated. First off, we have alpha. And that tells me that about 35.5% of the observations are associated with the first component, about 64.4% associated with the second component. You can also see the estimated means, 
standard deviations, and correlation coefficients.